here again with another video in the Decentraland wearable tutorial series. Uh, we're going to do another wearable Wednesday recap from last week. Um, we did a little bit more of an advanced lesson, so this might be a little bit of a longer video than usual. Um, today we are going to learn how to pair um, an object with a hair object. Um, underneath uh, in the description, uh, we have the files for everything in the video and a little uh, Google Docs to help you along with this. So let's get started. So in that Google Docs we have our base male models like we usually have and also a couple hair models. I'm going to start by importing the base model. I'm going to work with male. As we see we have male pops up. Next thing we're going to do in that Google Drive there's a hat file we are going to upload that hat file. All right. And now the last thing we're going to put in is the hair. So we're going to import JLBL, JLB again. And we're going to do the male cool hair. All right. So as you see, we have everything here. We can start getting rid of some of the things that are duplicates if we want to just work with um, what we have here. So I'm just going to get rid of all these different things to you know not confuse us of what is actually going on. All right, one more second. I just want those face masks. All right, so there we go. So we're just going to be working with this hair. So how do we pair? You can see that the hair goes outside of the hat. So there's a few things we could do. We could, you know, fully make the um, ha hat larger. Um, so way we can move our, uh, you can see our origins down here. So if we have the object selected, we can go to object, set origin, origin to geometry, and it'll bring our uh, origin right up here. So you could make the hat bigger uh, to accommodate with hair. But as you see, we get into this weird looking big hair. Uh, big hat, sorry. So I'm going to control Z that, bring this back. This is a little trick that I've come up with that allows us to kind of sew the hair in with the hat. So what we're going to first do is we're going to select the hair and we're going to go into edit mode in our left hand corner menu. Alright, and then we're going to go into face mode. We're going to hit A on our keyboard to select all. We're going to go to um, tries to quads just to make everything more simple and we're gonna start deleting here. So we're gonna start selecting with shift and uh, click um, these vertices that we don't want. So you can see this one pokes through, we want that one. All right, so yeah, we want that one. We'll get rid of these guys. Get rid of these guys. And as you see, we're just getting rid of all these unnecessary areas. So with this one, we're going to bring down that bird. So I'm just going to delete that first. Make sure we didn't delete anything we didn't want to delete. Okay, so we see we deleted something here we, we want to keep. So we're going to unselect that. And we're going to hit delete faces again. All right. So we're looking pretty good here. So now we're going to go more in depth, you know, deleting some more faces up here. Just gonna make sure again I'm not selecting anything I don't want to delete. All right, we'll delete those. Delete those. Okay, so we see we deleted some stuff that we didn't want to delete. So we just keep hitting Control Z until it comes back. So we have to bring it back to here. So we'll just take that out so we make sure. You know, we're not, we want to make sure that some of these hair things are sticking in, and we're going to fix that in a minute. And as you see, we also highlighted this area. We want to make sure um, we don't have that selected. All right, and we'll delete that again. And just, we're going to keep going through this process of deleting and stuff. Um, go right up and around the ears. Keep that guy, keep that guy, keep those guys. And we're just making our way around here. Um, 
So we can actually delete these guys and we'll bring that bird up. See, there's little floating verts everywhere. You gotta make sure you get them all. It's like Pokemon, catch them all. All right, highlight all these areas. Go underneath, make sure that we selected the stuff we wanna keep. Um, go into wireframe mode if you wanna see through things. We're gonna keep going around here. And as you see, I'm just using the gyro to spin around within our object to see if we can keep any verts that'll make this look even more authentic. All right, so we're gonna delete those, delete that phase, make sure we have everything stuck in there right, there we go. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to object mode, we're gonna select our hat, and as you see when we select our hat, this armature lit up so we can see that our hat is in there. Let's, let's open up that um, tree there. So now you can see we have the male hat mana. So what we're gonna do is we're going to deselect it and you can see we have some verts here that we need to get rid of up here too. Um, any verts that you leave in here will transpire to the builder and be in world and you don't want that. So we're gonna keep making sure we're not deleting things we don't want to delete. Um, like recently we just deleted this. We don't want to delete that. Um, let's go around here. What happened here? Okay, we deleted some faces that we didn't. So we're just gonna control Z this. There we go. Now she's back. Okay. So we accidentally just selected something that we can just go right back in and change it up. Make sure you always have the control Z so you can go back in. All right, not selecting anything we don't want. All right, we're gonna delete that. And as you can see in here too, we can delete these faces in here because we're gonna do a little trick in there. Make it easy for us. Keep deleting these faces, making sure we're not deleting anything we don't wanna delete. Now we're looking good. Let's take that hat off. Let's get rid of these verts on top. And I'm just shift selecting and then control selecting to get rid of things I want to keep. Um, let's go around here. We see there's a couple float inverts. Um, we don't, do we need these? Nope, so these will be all gone. Making sure we're going around because it does select through the object. All right. You can see how we have some faces in here. We want to make sure we delete those. Just make sure we get rid of all this stuff. See how we just deleted that? So we have to make sure that we deselect the area that we want to keep. Alright. So now if we put the hat back on, we can see that it is looking closer. So first step, we're going to work on the snapback. We're going to go into object mode, back to object mode, click the hat, go into edit, and vert mode, and with holding shift, uh, we are going to select these inside verts. All right, now with all those verts selected, we're gonna hit F on our keyboard to make a face. Oh, you can see we selected something wrong. So as you can see, it's a curved surface, so it's not allowing us to make a plane there. So what we have to do is we're going to just click off and we have to make triangles here. 
So we're going to select these areas, make a triangle. Do the same over here. I like to work in symmetry. Make sure you have the right vert selected. Alright, so now we're going to go into face mode, select all these faces, and we're going to go into our color mode. We're going to make a new texture, and we're going to name this one the, um, the avatar skin mat. The one that's already on our, um, oh, sorry, the hair mat. So we have a hair uh, texture material that's already built into this hair program. So we're going to hit assign. We're going to bring up our UV editor with the clock. Make sure that we unwrap this, make it look a little bit better. Let's shrink it down. All right. So now we just took care of that hair area. Our next step is we're going to go back into object mode, select our hat again, and hold shift, select our hair, right click, and we're going to join. So now this object is joined. Now we're going to go in edit mode and we can start sewing this thing together. So as you see, if we go into vert mode, we have all these little loose verts on the side of the hair that we need to close up to make this look more like a realistic hair. So the first thing we got to do is we got to see where we can attach it. So there's verts on this hat. Let's see where we can match it up. So it looks like our closest one is here. So if we hold shift and select the other vert and hit M and then L on our keyboard, we merge that vert to the last vert. So you can see that it just sewed that vert together and we can kind of just go around doing the same M and L treatment. We can just move these verts down to see where we want to put them. And we're just sewing it together. Very simple here. Nothing too fancy. Make sure our hairline is still following. And where you can see that this one doesn't have a really place to attach, you want to just attach it to this nearest vert. M and L, that's all we're doing is M and L. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to see there's some faces in there that we don't want. So we're going to go back into face mode, we're going to select these faces that are extra. Make sure we're not selecting outside faces. Okay, so that does make it up. So we'll just delete that back back area. Okay, all good now. Go back into vert mode, and you can see that this vert needs some sewing. So we're just gonna hit some M and an L to sew those verts back together. And you can see if we twist, we have a little bit of a different vert situation. So we're just gonna go M and L and again. We're going to get this vert up with this guy. And we're just building the hair as we go around. Got another vert all the way up there. We want to bring down to here. All right. So now we're really starting to get this hair. Look at this. We're sewing the hair right to the hat. Okay. So you can see how we go in here. We don't want to do that. So when the hair comes into the hat, we want to make sure that it's selected in a vert up in here. So the ha hair kind of follows itself all the way up. There we go. So now it's tucked in and makes it look like more realistic hair. So we're going to do that all the way around here and make sure we just get this thing all sewn up. If this mode works for you better, you can go into this mode or you can just go into color mode. Whatever way you can see, you know, your vertices better. I like color mode, it just kind of shows off my verts a little bit better. So I'm just going to sew this one up here. You know, we're just looking for our best case scenario of where to sew it into the hat. So we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side. This is just another demo of showing you 
how it's done so you can get a kind of a second taste. So very simple, we're just moving around, sewing it right to the thing. You can see that these verts are missing, so we just wanna make sure they're sewn back together. We're gonna delete these faces, they come up too high. We can take these verts up. So we're gonna take these verts, we're gonna tuck them in. Where are we gonna tuck them into? Tuck them in up here. That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna tuck them in right up there. And we're just going right around. So as you see now, we have sewn the basic areas to the mat. And as you see, this is coming up wrong. So we just wanna make sure when we have this selected in our UV mode, we hit A to size down. And we're just gonna move this over to the third third one down on the very bottom palette. That way it matches everything else and it can change it in game. All right, so this is where we start getting to the a little bit more advanced sewing. So we have these other little hairs that make up this cool hair, you know. Um, so if we go back into vert mode, I'm just gonna see this one vert that I wanna connect. Make it look a little bit better sure that comes down hide it hide it in there all right and then you can see that we are sticking out a little bit here we just want to sew these to some top vertices and as you see they just start disappearing because we are now sewing it right into that vertice so we're hiding it sure we have our right vertices selected we're just gonna hide those hairs right in there and as you see we're still looking good keep hiding these M and L merge it and as you see we just sewed that right in so now we have one vert right there and just merge that in so now we see we have a hat with hair, a male hair, that can go right into game. So if we upload this into game, the way we do that is we select the hair in the hat, we go to File, Export, JLB, and we're just going to name this Test Hat. And we're going to do include selected objects. And we're going to bring up Decentraland Builder. We're going to go into the Builder. And we're going to go to our collections page. We're gonna do a new collection. We'll, we'll do just new items so we can show it. We're gonna open up that item we just saved. Test hat. We're gonna click and drag it in there. We're gonna hit as a hat. Select the rarity. Do it as a male. No, it's not a part of the existing item. We're gonna hit create. We're going to select the hat, go into edit mode, and as you see, there's no hair showing up on the image. So watch what happens. All right, so now we have to do one more thing. One more thing is going on here. We have to do hides hair. So we're going to do hits hides hair, hit save. And now as you see, we have loaded a hair in, sewn it into the hat. And now we can change the color of the hair in the game, and it'll change alongside that hair. So there you guys go. I hope this helps you guys um, in your wearable creations. 
Also, the Google Drive is right at the bottom of the screen, so you can go right there. And I've also downloaded a model of this. Thank you guys for tuning in, and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys.